How about these words that we're mostly familiar with, but you probably didn't know where they came from. It's our list. They came from TV. Some of the unexpected origins of some very common words. Let's start with frogs. You know, I think frogs have always been known to say ribbit. That's not frog language. Actually, the earliest recorded usage of the word ribbit is from a 1965 episode of Gilligan's Island in which Mel Blanc voiced a character called Ribbit the Frog. I had no idea. Interesting. That's where it came from. Well, how about Cowabunga? Yeah, the surfing slang actually originated from Chief Thunderthud. Yep, a character on the 1950s children's show Howdy Doody. So after that, it was made its way into surfer slang and even the 90s hit Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Cowabunga, dude. It's day one, and I'm learning so much already. <laughs> How about spam, junk mail? We'll chalk it up to the monthly pythons flying circus, the Monty, Monty pythons. Monty pythons flying circus. Oh, that was good, <laughs> Thank Dan. You. All right, the food spam, spam. it was invented during the Great Depression. Spam. Fast forward 40 some odd years. The British sketch comics were singing incessantly about it. Are you going to sing for us? No, Dan? I really don't okay. sing. I speak words. I All don't right, sing. I thought I'd try. Well, this was apparently the inspiration for the computer slang that then came about in the 1990s. And lastly, this is weird. The phrase, sorry about that? Sorry about that, Chief. You've probably used the expression many times. But did you know it was popularized by Get Smart? Don Adams, one of the many catchphrases from the late 60s TV show. Another phrase from the show, missed it by that much. There you go.